Hello Beetle friends and hello to everybody else watching. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the new George Harrison All Things Must Pass 50th Anniversary Uber Deluxe Wooden Crate Set. I'm going to show you everything that's inside the Wooden Crate Set. So I hope you enjoy the unboxing of the All Things Must Pass Uber Deluxe Set. And before I, I get started with showing you the Uber Set, let me show you this nice lithograph that I got at a local record store. A nice photo of George right here. All right, now to get going with the Uber Deluxe Wooden Crate unboxing. Here's a look at the big package with the Uber Wooden Crate set. As you can see, I opened the package. Here's a look at the copy number on the package. The All Things Must Pass Uber set is limited, but they haven't announced how many copies of the Uber set will be made. But here's a look at, at the number on the package. My copy number is 2775. Here's a look at what the inside of the package looks like after you open the package. The first thing you see is a large styrofoam, which I'm going to carefully remove. And here's the top of the wooden crate. Here's a look at the All Things Must Pass Uber Wooden Crate set. That's the front portion of the set. I'm going to show you all sides of the set. Here's the side right here. With the handle right here. A little rope handle. All Things Must Pass on this side. And then... On this side, uh, the same same thing as the front, just says uh, George Harrison, Friar Park, Henley on Thames. And then on this side right here, uh, same thing, all things must pass right here. And the, the second handle right here, the rope handle. Here's the top of the wooden crate where the opening is. The first content I'm going to show you is a limited edition illustration by Klaus Vormann. Here's a close look at the Klaus Vormann illustration. Nicely done drawn by Klaus. The next content I'm going to show you is the 96 page scrapbook curated by Olivia Harrison. Here's a scrapbook that's inside this protective sleeve here. This 96 page expanded scrapbook curated by Olivia Harrison includes unseen imagery and memorabilia from the era, also handwritten lyrics, diary entries, studio notes, tape box images, and a comprehensive track by track and much more. So I'm gonna 
open this scrapbook and show you the the first page which is the image of the album cover right here and here is the book mark right here here's a quick note about the wooden bookmark oak leaf plate and bookmark from crocus rover planted by sir frank crisp 1880 fowd 2017 This bookmark was made from that oak tree. And how to go through the scrapbook. I'm gonna go through much of it. This scrapbook includes all the CDs in the Blu-ray disc. I'll get the littles here in a little bit. Every page is embossed here. So far, I love this scrapbook. Nicely done scrapbook. And this one has Psychedelic Prayers by Timothy Leary. What well, looks like an inspiration to the song All Things Must Pass. Here's some printed studio notes on this page. discussion with both Paul Hicks who did the new mix of the album and Danny Harrison and finally here are the CDs and the blu-ray disc here's CD one CD one of the main album CD2 
Here are the demo CDs. Disc 3 and Disc 4 of this reissue. Here's Disc 3. Day 1 demos. Tuesday, May 26, 1970. And here's disc four of the reissue. Day two demos, Wednesday, May 27th, 1970. Now on to the last page of the scrapbook. With disc five of the reissue and the Blu-ray disc. Let me show you disc five right here. Disc 5 of this reissue includes session outtakes and jams. Disc 5 right here. CD 5. And finally the Blu-ray disc. Blu-ray audio disc. There's another opening inside this wooden crate. Gonna pull the opening here and show you a portfolio. Here's a look at the portfolio with the embossed leaves on the cover. Portfolio opens like this. The first item I'm going to show you inside this portfolio, a custom made box, are the Redraksha beads right here. And a copy of Light from the Great Ones. by Paramahansa Yoganada. And the Archival Notes book here. Archival Notes, The Making of All Things Must Pass. This Making of All Things Must Pass book is 44 pages. And the last thing I want to show you inside this portfolio box are the lyrics that All Things Must Pass embossed on the side right here. The next item I'm going to show you 
is a box of the figurines. Here's the box which includes the figurines and also here's the handle to pull the box out of the, the wooden crate. Let me remove that handle so you get a better look at the figurines box, which is basically the background image of the All Things Must Pass album cover. And here's the top right here. All things must pass, 50th anniversary. And the bottom portion. With the copyright information. It says not a toy right here. Open the box and show you the... 1-6 scaled figurines of George and the Gnomes. The figurines are placed in, in the styrofoam here. And it was taped, so I cut it open so I can open the styrofoam and show you the figurines. And here's the large styrofoam, which holds the figurines. Gonna open the top portion of the styrofoam and show you the figurines right here. Gonna show you George first. Close up of the figurine of George. Here's the first of the gnomes. Here's the second of the gnomes. The third of the gnomes. And finally, the large gnome. The last contents inside this wooden crate are of course the vinyl records. I'm gonna show you the vinyl record set of both the main album and the bonus material. Here's a look at the vinyl record edition of the main album, which is a new mix done by engineer Paul Hicks. Look at the front cover. All Things Must Pass 50th Anniversary. Replica of the original album. Inside of the album here. And here's the poster right here. Here's a look at the large poster. This is a replica of the original poster that was in the original album released back in 1970. Beautiful replica of the original large poster. Here are the vinyl records. Replica of the original inner sleeve. The records are not placed in these inner sleeves. Lyrics to all the songs. And here's record one.
Here's a replica of the original inner sleeve for record two of the album. And here's record two. And finally, the Apple Jam record. Replica of the original Apple Jam inner sleeve. And a close up of the Apple Jam record. And finally, the five LP box set of all the unreleased material, the demos, session outtakes, and jams. The box is designed to look like an actual EMI tape. Look at the track list here. I'm going to show you the vinyl records. The packaging is the same as the main album. The vinyl records are placed in different inner sleeves. Here's inner sleeve one. Look at the vinyl record. Day one demos, Tuesday, May 26, 1970. Here's a look at the inner sleeve for record two of the day one demos. Record two of the day one demos. Inner sleeve for record three. The Day 2 Demos, Wednesday, May 27th, 1970. Here's a look at Record 3. The Day 2 Demos. Inner sleeve for record four. The session outtakes and jams. And here's the vinyl record. Record four of the set. And finally, record five, inner sleeve for record five, 
Sebastian now takes and jams. Here's a look at the final record in this set, record five. That concludes this long video showing you the new George Harrison All Things Must Pass Uber Wooden Crate set. Hope you enjoyed seeing everything in this 48 pound wooden crate set. And stay tuned for my next video where I show you the e-commerce splatter vinyl edition of the main album. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all for hanging in there during this long video. And like I always say, stay tuned for more videos and talk to you all later. Thank you for watching.